Hi viewers, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to discuss about audio visual aids. Okay. So, you would have heard audio visual aids that is AV aids. So, whenever your um, teacher is telling you to go in for a health education, she will tell you prepare AV aids that is like good AV aids the patients must understand like that she used to say. Okay. So, today we are going to start with a series of classes that is like audio visual aids. This is an introduction class. In the further videos, we will be discussing about the different types of AV aids available and how to use these types of AV aids. So, today is a just an introduction about AV aids. So, why do we use AV aids and how are we supposed to select and use these AV aids? We will discuss. Okay. So, first, what is AV aids? AV aids are audio visual aids. Okay. So, these aids are going to help you in better understanding or to make this teaching learning procedure very effective. The aim of AV aids is to make the audience understand whatever you want to convey. So, maybe it is a student, it is a teacher, it is a common public, whomever who is sitting opposite to you. So, you want to make them understand whatever you want to convey. So, that is the main aim of audio visual aids. Okay. So, next comes the concept of AV aids. So, what does this concept of AV aids means? It is like there is a Chinese proverb saying if I hear I forget, if I see I remember, if I practice, if I do I learn. Okay. So, this is the importance of AVH. So, when you see something it is very effective and you will be able to remember those things easily and definitely you have to practice. So, once you practice your procedures then only you will be thorough about your procedures. Okay. So, this is the importance of AVH. So, that is the concept of AVH and we have the need. Why do we have to use AV aids. AV aids are very important to make the people understand that is like you are making pictures or images or a sentence point forms like that you are going to create so that it is making the audience more comfortable in understanding. So, you are making jots or like you are going to have points which is going to make them comfortable or otherwise like images, diagrams pictures. So, whatever you want to tell your group you are going to like pro, uh, like you are going to put that in a simple logical way so that they will understand easily. Then we have the characters. So, characters of AV aids. So, when you are preparing an AV aids what does the character it has to possess. Okay. So, here there are some points. So, when you get an AVH for your 5 mark question or your 10 mark question. So, at that time how you will answer. So, you have to add these points and after that you will be mentioning about the further classes that is like the types of AVH. So, first is like you will be telling the definition of AVH, then the concept of AVH, then the need or the purpose for AVH and then comes the character. So, what are the characters of AVH? So, the first character it has to be a meaningful aviates. So, when you are uh, talking about aviates or otherwise when you are going to tell a concept, okay, just when imagine when you are teaching an anatomy, at that time what will be your aviates? Your aviates will be a bone, a skeleton, a pelvis, what, uh, like the lively things. Okay. So, those things you have to show. So, that will be your aviate. So, in case if the real skeleton is not available, go in for a 3D image. Okay. So, that will give you a clear idea. So, it has to be meaningful when you are teaching with an aviate, that aviate must be a meaningful aviate. And then comes the purposeful. It has to be purposeful. So, there must be a idea when you are using. Okay. So, there must be a purpose why do you use? Just imagine when I am going to do a mechanism of delivery. When I am doing a mechanism of delivery, I must have a pelvis, I must have a dummy, then only I can do this mechanism. So, in case if this is not possible, if I am not doing with this, then there is no use of that aviate. So, I must have a dummy, 
and then only I can proceed with that fetus. So, if I am not going to have a dummy and a pelvis, what is the use of teaching a mechanism of labor? So, that I have to remember and then it has to be accurate. So, when you are using an aviates, it has to be accurate in nature that is like when you are inf uh, like giving an information with an AVH. So, suppose if you are telling about a femur bone, you have to talk about the femur bone, the length, the width, like how it like the how it is going to get fixed up all those things you have to talk about. So, if you are going to talk about that, you must have an exact information when you are talking that is like where your AVH must provide accurate informations and then it has to be simple and cheap do not go in for a costly AVH because like this AVH you are not going to use in every like day by day year for years it is not going to be used it is going for a single day process in today's class you are going to use a chart in today's class you are going to use a flip card only that much so you are not going to spend too much on AVH a minimal amount you can spend which is going to help the audience understand. So, that much will be sufficient. So, you have to spend only little amount. So, it has to be simple and cheap in nature and then it has to be improvised. It is not like uh, 10 years before uh, so one of your seniors has prepared a uh, AVAIDS and that you are bringing now and you are showing your patients not like that. You have to take the concept if you want that AVAID also take that concept prepare a new AVAID and then show it to the patients ok not using the same things again and again and then comes the large size. So, you have to see for the large size so that is like when you are having a crowd that is around 15 to 20 members are sitting at that time when you are using an AVH your chart must be big enough the letters have to big big so that the audience are able to see it is clear and it is able to convey the information whatever you want to convey and then comes the updated information that is what I said it is not like using an AVA that is already prepared by somebody else ok take an uh, AVA and like, see for the updated information that is like see in the journals see in the books like updated books you will be having revised books every year so like every year every two years every five years you will have updated information take that updated information and incorporate in that AVA so it has to be a revised AVH not using the same thing again and again and then comes the portable AVH. Portable AVH what is that portable? Wherever you are going you have to carry. You can carry a chart. You can nowadays like most of the thing, things you can carry ok. You have your blackboards that is like hanging blackboards are also available, charts are available, flash cards, flip charts how so many things are available. So, that is like handy you can take it and go and nowadays your pen drive. So, wherever you want to go take your AVAs and go. So, it has to be portable wherever you want to take and go it has to be carried on and then the mental status. So, mental status it is the understanding of the audience. So, audience imagine the audience is a uh, LKG child. So, what AVAs you are supposed to use? something very large a 3 day image a big uh, picture and lively picture so that you can make the ch child understand. In case if it is an uh, grown up group maybe you are going to do an health education for an antenatal mother you need not carry a ball and a chalk piece and uh, your uh, onion and all those things ok. You can just tell or otherwise you can take it in a chart you can draw that will be sufficient to make the audience understand ok. So, these are the characters of aviates that is it has to be meaningful, purposeful, accurate, simple and cheap, improvised large size updated portable and the mental status you have to remember when you are selecting an AVH. Then comes the factors affecting the AVH ok. So, factors so how does this AVH sometimes this AVH is not effective why this happen ok. So, first is the objective. So, you must always remember the objective of the teaching process ok. 
So, objective is like sometimes it is like only your uh, knowledge, sometimes it is uh, a skill. So, you must understand what type of AVAs you must use, it is only knowledge ok and a blackboard and uh, like your pen drive, your OHP so something that will be enough. In case if your objective is your skill based and then what you want you must have a simulator, you must have a dummy, you must have a skeleton all those things you must have. So, you have to remember the objective of the teaching procedure and then comes the nature of the procedure. So, nature of the teaching. So, what type of teaching you have to do that is like again I said it is the uh, knowledge practice or the skill you are going to do on the audience and then comes the audience. So, according to the audience you have to teach. So, your audience may be a small child, grown up children or like you are going and presenting in a conference. So, all are knowledgeable people. So, according to that you have to have your AVAs. See, when you are going to present in a conference, at that time you can't go uh, take a chart and go and show them, ok. So, that will be inappropriate. You must have nice uh, like OHB uh, uh, projectors you can use or your um, like uh, pen drives you can carry and sometimes like it is like your smart boards nowadays are available. So, all these things are very effective ways of using uh, AV aids were in a group. So, all these things you have to remember and then comes the cost. So, again cost you have to remember the cost of the AV aid. So, already we discussed it has to be definitely cheap and simple and then coming to the teacher the effective use of the teacher. So, you are having a projector and the teacher does not know how to use a projector. What is the use of having a projector? So, you must have an U AV aids which the teacher is able to handle. So, she must know how to handle the AV aids. So, these are the factors and then the working condition. So, you have an uh, projector and the projector is not functioning. You have a laptop and the laptop is not getting activated. So, there is a virus. So, at that time it is of no use ok. So, you have to see the working condition how it is working or not and then the knowledge. So, again it is like uh, the knowledge I said students with the milder knowledge sometimes it is your uh, your uh, like the audience are your uh, learned people like where the knowledge level again it is a high level knowledge level or the common public where the knowledge level is going to be very low. So, all these things you have to remember. So, the factors affecting AVAs include your objective, nature, audience, cost, teacher, working condition and the knowledge of about the AVAs ok. So, then comes the selection of AVAs. So, when we are coming to the selection of AVAs, how do you select ok. So, the first thing is it is easy to see and understand. So, the audience when they see the AVAs, it has to be easily understandable by the audience and then simple and direct ok. No complications in using ok, it has to be simple just show project C that will be sufficient ok. So, simple and it is like easy to handle and then easy to use again the teacher, the person who is going to teach she must know how to use the AVAs. Then coming to the key points, so whenever you have um, AVAs, the basic aim of AVAs is to make the audience understand. So, you must have always you must have key points ok. So, note down all the key points and that is going to uh, give you a clear information and then the working condition again. So, it has to be in a good working condition you have to see time and place. Imagine when you are going to present PPT in a classroom. So, in the morning time when you present, so how it has to be? It can be more colorful where again it is like you will have the auditorium will be very bright in color. So, in case if it is a dim light you must use black and white PPTs. So, that will be more effective ok. So, these type of things you must remember when you are preparing AVAs and then again it is like accurate and clear informations you have to use and then convey the idea. See to that your AVAs are giving a clear information about the matter whatever you want to convey. So, that you have to concentrate and your AVAs have to be appealing, 
visibility attractive and appropriate so see to that the colors are pleasing colors don't use very bright colors very dark colors and like uh, things which is more irritating pictures which gives you a wrong information these things you are not supposed to use ok so when you are coming to aviates you are going to understand these basic concepts ok so with this we finish aviates the introductory part ok so in the next class we will see the different types of aviates so till then take care bye